Hello everybody, welcome to this little comic review video where I'll be reviewing this little comic Hilda and the Forest Stone. So this is just a, like a comic which I got recently. It's illustrated by Luke Pearson. I think most people know this thing already, right? It's on Netflix, it's a series on Netflix. I saw a couple of episodes uh, and I thought I really like the artwork of it, right? The, the look and feel of it. And I thought I'll just get a comic, right? And apparently about the fifth book <laughs> instead of the first book. Well, that is good though, because I've seen the first couple of episodes on Netflix. And uh, you know what? I'm going to give you my honest opinion on this comic. So here's a review of it. First up. When the comic arrived in May, I gotta tell you, I absolutely loved it. The size of it, right? The size and the... I just love the size of this comic, right? It's very big, right? A typical comic, right? Other comics that I own are pretty small. They're just this size or probably this big, right? This one is huge. This is probably one of the biggest comics I've ever seen. At least, you know, I think the old Batman comics are quite big and the old Superman comics are quite big, but this is big and apparently, the previous versions of Hilda, at least I think the first book in this series, the Hilda first book, is actually even bigger than this. This is like 21 centimeters or something like that, right? Length or bit. First glance, the artwork is just phenomenal, right? Just, it's just beautiful. I mean, it's very simple. It's very simple. It's very clean and it's very neat. And what I think the author has done here is he's made a style so simple. And he kept it simple so that he can actually focus on storytelling, which is a good thing, by the way, you know, focusing less on the techniques and more on the story yields more like better results, such as this book. So when I open up this book, I really like this one, right? This book belongs to it. It's got these cool doodles and things here and there. Got this little thing right here. You could write your name, but I didn't write my name. And this is what they call actually flat style or uh, yeah, sort of. That's what I call it at least, like flat style designs, you know. It doesn't have too much form to it, but it's very cartoony, very childish, and it's very cute. And this book has a lot of those things, right? Like these little spot illustrations here and there, you know, right here. And uh, wait, yeah, right here, right? And uh, here, now, all these spot illustrations are like throughout the book. This uh, The story happens in the city of Trollberg, by the way and basically the adventures of this little girl named Hilda, right? This is, this is like a spread right here, right? Look at that, just the colors of it. The colors, the... It's very warm, which I don't like by the way, but weirdly the artist, and, uh, the, the person, the Luke Pearson, this guy, has, has sort of presented in such a way that, you know, warm is sort of appealing. It's nice to look at, right? So I, I kind of like it. I really don't like books that are totally warm in color. Right? I don't like them, but this one is like one exception. So one of the things I really uh, want to point out, right? I'm, I'm not much of a reviewer. I'm just your average person, you know, just going through comics. I'm not even a comic reader, by the way. I'm, I'm just an artist. You now I draw stuff. This is, by the way, one of my stickers. Do, by the way, do you want stickers? You know, I've, I've got these bunch of stickers. I'm not plugging it in. This is not, these are not for sale, but you know, do you like stickers? I don't know. So these are my artworks. I'm an artist. If you're new to me, just saying, right? Anyways, the paneling, right? The way this entire comic has been paneled, it's nice. It's the way I would do it because I'm more of a film person. I'm, I'm not a comics guy. Like I told you, I haven't illustrated much comics other than like strips and things here and there. But I would really capture or try to capture all the uh, nuances of a character's reaction, right? You know, so, uh, because one of the things that most comic creators or most comic artists miss is the little pauses, you know, that the character gives that you can actually see in film and TV shows, but not in comics, because it's very hard to keep on drawing the same frame over and over again. This guy has done really well. For example, right, this, this was a conversation between Hilda and, and, and her mother and all these little things see this frame right here this is one example most people don't do it most people skip this right they just go from here skip it to here the next dialogue right so it feels like a series of you reading dialogues over here and there and this guy has given all those little move uh, moments right those little expressions and little nuances he's given frames for that and that is very very nice and he's done that in, even here in this particular scene right here, right? Between Hilda again and the mother. 
right? Pretty intense scene. Look at look at how many frames. This is, by the way, one of the packed com comics I've ever seen in terms of paneling, right? I've seen like seven, eight panels per page before, but right here, you know, even in this page, it's like four, fours are 16 plus another six. That's like 22 panels in one page. That's a lot. And that, I, I like that. And also, if you notice all these little things right here, right? You know, he's changed background colors and i've noticed this as well he doesn't draw backgrounds over and over again he just establishes it in one particular place and then he doesn't draw it again like not too much you know it just draws a character and that's like a good way this is very time saving technique right this one right here right he just wanted to show this little pause between the the awkward pause between uh, you know during the dining table scene which is part of the thing right it's just this little black strip, right? And just people sitting in the middle. He didn't draw the backgrounds. It's just like a very neat, creative thing, you know, that he has done. And, and I like that thing. And also, this is another frame which, I, which is sort of noteworthy. You know, no perspective, which is very nice. It's very iconic, right? They call this iconic design. I don't know. I think, I think they call it like an iconic design. So this one. And also, if you look at the entire book, there's so many, uh, what do you say, color grading going on, like in movies, right? Meaning, if, if, you, if you notice some of your favorite movies, you know, certain scenes have certain color temperatures and color gradings, you know, they have their own set of visual uh, theme to them, a color theme to them. And this is what I noticed throughout this comic, you know, certain sections has different themes. This particular area, right? Look at this, it's, it's completely bright and vibrant. So these are all some of the things that I'm noticing, right? right? While I'm going through this comic. I like the chapter breaks. This person is very creative, I can tell that, by the way they've presented the comic. And it's very cinematic. And in terms of the story, I like the story. I haven't seen the story on Netflix yet. Maybe I should probably go and watch that. It was a little draggy in the middle, right? I think we could have cut like five to ten pages short and this comment would be like even more crisper. You know, it keep, kept on going in the middle. I got a bit bored and uh, I think I finished reading this entire comic in like 45 minutes. But other than that, other than that little drag in the middle, the, the, the pacing feels nice. The pacing is very fast, except in the middle that it's a bit draggy. Uh, but overall, great comic. I loved it. And I'm, I'm, I'm just sharing all the my opinions, right? It's all based on, say, me watching movies from the perspective of a movie watcher rather than a comic reader so yeah i loved it so i'm getting into comics lately i'm reading a lot of comics i, I will be reading a lot of comics because i want to try a new medium of uh, media <laughs> other than just me watching tvs or tv shows on netflix and prime and things like that so i'm giving comics a tr uh, go and i cannot i cannot read fiction it's bloody boring so i can't read fiction Non-fiction, fine. Fiction is like, Jesus, I can't read it. So that's why I'm getting into comics. And this one is a great start. So I would highly recommend this book. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.